Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We begin tonight with good news about the U.S. economy. It's a lot stronger than you may think and than forecasters had thought. The government today out with an upward revision in economic growth during the summer months. The July through September quarter turned out to be a far more robust one than originally reported or forecast. By combining growth in the second and third quarters, the economy saw its strongest six-month performance in more than a decade. So what's next for the U.S. economy, and what will this all mean for the upcoming holiday shopping season? Steve Leisman has our story. The economy looks to be finding another gear just ahead of the upcoming holidays. The government reported that gross domestic product, the measure of all the nation's output, rose to 3.9% in the third quarter, better than the 3.5% first reported, and better than the 3.3% economists had expected. There clearly has been a meaningful upward move in the tr economy's trajectory over the last couple of quarters. Uh, that's important because as the Federal Reserve gets ready to remove some of the stimulative policies that it's had in place, a stronger economy is more likely to withstand that than would a weaker one. Four of the past five quarters have been above 3.5%. That's well north of the lackluster 2% growth that's characterized the post-crisis period. Only the storm-riddled first quarter upsets the trend. Without it, it's a 4% economy. This report showed greater strength in consumer spending and business investment, although foreign trade was even worse than first reported, a sign of weakness overseas having some limited impact on the U.S. economy. I would remind people, just a few years ago, there was a giant earthquake uh, and tsunami in Japan uh, that, that totally disrupted the global supply chain. Uh, really screwed up the global economy for a quarter or two, and the U.S. did not go into a recession. The key question is whether the U.S. consumer will be in a shopping mood this Christmas, and here the numbers weren't so good. Consumer sentiment dropped unexpectedly to the lowest level since June, defying forecasts for another upswing. Though the economy has been improving, consumers ultimately hold the key to growth, and they remain challenged. While it's true that um you had a consumer that was a little bit better. The reality is the consumer still remains in this sort of this very tight band of, you know, just north of 2%. And that's been sort of one of these very consistent stories over the course of the last couple of years. The market will digest part two of this week's data feast tomorrow with new reports on consumer spending and income in October, along with housing data, consumer confidence and jobless claims. All this data will help the market figure out if the third quarter strength will continue into the fourth. Stocks sure seem to be betting on it. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.